greeting to everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to, to the coach for the opportunity that he gave me. And uh, I promise that I will do my best. And uh, yeah. Great. We'll now open the floor for some questions. Um, whether we start with the coach first, and then you can ask your questions and then we finish up. Yeah, we start with them, but oh, we have to get Let's start with the coach again. Please just um, uh, just quickly just uh, tell us from which media house you're coming from and your name. Kenwas, the Ranger from the Jeskit Times. Um, obviously, um, there's a lot of excitement of how well you've been doing for the national team under Coach Hugo. Um, you know, you're one of the players that you know the opposition are always talking about. Uh, the fans are always you know raving about as well. Um, but there's obviously been a how can I say? People asking why you flourishing so much with Bafana and perhaps at Sundowns you're not at your fluent best over the past let's say six to twelve months. Um, what is coach giving you um, in this setup that is allowing you to be so free and expressive? Uh, yeah, what I can say is a uh, is a free role that I'm playing here in the national team. It helps me so much to to connect with the strikers, to connect with local players. And uh, I'm so much uh, comfortable, especially when I'm at the camp, and uh, try to play in between the lines. And I think that's what uh, uh, helped me to do well in the national team, because uh, I've been around the box and tried to create those chances and try to score goals whenever I get the chance. I think, yeah. So was this in far post? <coughs> Shiga, um, um, regarding your role as captain, uh, and Ronza as a team leader at Black Lions, was it sort of came about this? What advantage do you have had at uh, this game? <laughs> I, I have not spoken to him, uh, but uh, obviously Ronza is uh, more experienced than me in terms of uh, captain wise. Uh, obviously, give me advice here in the team, and uh, yeah, I mean, always there. Uh, trying to push me and, uh, yeah. Just to write on that, um, his nomination for the Palen d'Or, this one is also coming to you, Coach, when, it, when it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Having him as your captain at the national team, out injured, but getting a big nomination. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's, he's Africa's best right now. What does it say to you, um, having to spend time with this man at club level and national team level? Yeah, it says a lot. It says a lot. It shows that the uh, hard work uh, really pays. I mean, Ronda, uh, he works a lot. He works. He push himself a lot, and uh, I mean, it's, it's quality. And uh, for us, we we happy for him. We happy for him. How do you describe yourself as a as a captain? I mean, also having learned from the Simba way that you played at club level, level as someone who's not really thought at first that as then someone who's been a leader throughout your career. Yeah, uh, I know for sure that I don't like to talk a lot, but uh, I know that my role is very my role is very important in the team to to lead by example, and uh, obviously I always want to be a good example to the young ones. So I need to show by example in the team, try to push myself and try to improve each and every day. Um, Kemba, there's a couple of new faces that you've probably worked with now in the camp with Simpo, yeah. uh, Fawaz and Talente. Uh, do you think that they are mentally ready for this type of occasion? It's a serious game, it's a qualifier um, and it's obviously like their first you know, proper camp. With the national team, have you spoken to them? Do you see them in training? Are they impressing? Yeah. Now, for me, I think they are ready because they've been doing well in their team. When they came to camp, they've been training well. So I feel like they have the quality. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Shushi, very little from SABC. Uh, congratulations on the armband. Um, you've been with Bafana, I think, with Casey Lottier. 
I even I think you know, focus you are the longest serving player um, um, in, in this team. No, it's Ron. <laughs> Ronza yeah. is ahead of you. Yeah. Since he came, he came first. Okay, no, I'm saying in the current team now. Oh okay. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. Um when when you look at a uh, coach, because I think uh, he's just a few months away from being the longest serving Mafana coach ever. Um what would you say he's done differently? Um firstly to this longest serving but also to rally the nations behind the team. Um yeah, and also to maybe just about the goals because I know that you want to go to twenty twenty six. What would it take for you to get there? I would go out first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think the coach has done a lot. I mean, he has bring that uh, brother with in the team. He has bring that winning uh, mentality in the team. Uh, we have seen uh, all the games that he's been. He has a fighting spirit. And he has bring that belief into us that uh, no matter whoever that we, we face, we can still fight and try to get a win. I think that fighting spirit and that uh, it, he, he always motivate us, you know, a lot. I think he, he has done well since he came. And also, what will it take for you to, to be there <coughs> in the U.S.? Uh, oh. Forget about the coaches and selection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, I have to continue on uh, working hard and try to improve my performance and try to score goals and help the team to win. Mm. The fans are waiting. Um, if you can just take this moment as the captain to, in fact, inform them that the game is on tomorrow and invite them over. Yeah, no, I will ask the, the fans to come in numbers. We always uh, happy to see them coming in numbers, and we promise them that we will do our best tomorrow. Thank you. Sure. All right.